Okay, question number seven from the specimen paper for the P2 syllabus, uh, the new international A-level. You've got find in terms of log to the base two, three, an exact solution of this equation. Okay, so we've got to do that. So, what we can do here, they want it in terms of log to the base 2. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take log to the base 2 of both sides, because this is like a product, it's one term, this is one term. So I'm going to say log to the base 2 of 3 times 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals log to the base 2 of 8 to the power of x. Why did I choose log to the base 2? because they told us to say to find in terms of log to the base 2 of 3. So now what I can do is I can split this up into two parts because this is a product so I can write log to the base 2 of 3 plus log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals now I can write this as x times log to the base 2 of 8. So I'm using the law of logarithms um, the power law. So log to the base a of b to the power of c is equal to c times log to the base a of b. Power law. Okay, so the x can multiply the whole of that thing. Now, and similarly over here I can do the same thing. So I've got log to the base 2 of 3 plus, and this is x minus 2 times log to the base 2 of 2 equals, and now what I spot here, you see two, log to the base 2 of 2 is going to become 1, so that's going to become 1. But I can spot something kind of similar here because I can rewrite this as log to the base 2 of 2 cubed, because 8 is 2 cubed. And then I can do something similar. So I've got log to the base 2 of 3. Okay, this is fine because we want it in terms of log to the base 2 of 3. Okay, and this is going to become 1, so it's going to be, going to be plus x minus 2. Because log to the base of something of itself is 1, is one. 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. And here I can have, using the power law, 3 times x times log to the base 2 of 2, which is going to become 1. So you've got 3x. So you want to find, in terms of log 3, an exact solution. So basically, we've got to have x equal something with log, two to the, log to the base 2 of 3 in the answer. So we can see this is you know starting to form here. So I can subtract x from both sides. So I have log to the base 2, 3 minus 2 is equal to 3 minus 3x minus 1, uh, x, which is 2x. So I can say x is equal to log to the base 2, 3 minus 2, all divided by 2. This is an x there. Okay, that divided by 2. And there we have the answer to 7 part 1. And then it says 7 part 2 says solve using algebra this log equation. So they're both of the same base. So I can combine these two terms. But before combining them, I must uh, raise this to the power of 2 using the power law. Okay, because I can't combine them until it just says log, not something times log. So I've got log to the base 5 of 2y plus 1. Um, to the power of 2 minus log to the base 5 of 2 minus y equals 1. So now I can combine them together. So I have log to the base 5 and in brackets I'm going to have 2y plus 1 squared. I'm using the subtraction law so it's going to become a division over 2 minus y is equal to 1. So I know 5 to the power of 1 is equal to all of this. So I can say 2y plus 1, all squared, over 2 minus y is equal to 5 times 5 to the power of 1, sorry, which is 5. Okay, so now we can uh, expand this bracket and multiply by 2 minus y. So you want to expand this bracket and also multiply by 2 minus y. So you'll end up with 4y squared plus 2 times 2y times 1, which is plus 4y plus 1. That's what happens when you expand that bracket. You're going to get 2y, 4y squared plus 2y plus 2y plus 1. 
and that's equal to 2, 2 minus y times 5, so 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times minus y is minus 5y. Let's bring everything on one side, so you have 4y squared. You're going to have 4y plus 5y, which is plus 9y. You're going to have 1 minus, 9, minus 10, which is minus 9, equals 0. Okay, so let's see if we can solve this equation. I'm going to just use this space here. Um, I'm going to use my window method. Let's see if this works out. If it factorizes, you've got 4y squared will go in this window and minus 9 in that window. Two numbers multiplied to give me negative 36y squared. And when I add them, I get plus 9y. Okay, so think of numbers that multiply to give you 36. Uh, 12 times 3 is the 1. Good, 12 times 3. So 12 has to be positive, so you're going to have 12y and you're going to have minus 3y. They will add up to give me my plus 9y. So plus 12y and minus 3y. So now let me just take out the common factor of these two and write it over here. So that's going to be 4y. Oops, it's a bit messy. Okay, so that's going to be 4y up there, the common factor of this column. And the common factor from this row is going to be just y. And then I'll say, okay, what do I have to, what do I have to write here? y times something gives me minus 3y, that's minus 3. And 4y times something gives me plus 12y, where that's plus 3. Okay, and then 3, yep, they work, that works out. So we can factorize this into 4y minus 3 and y plus 3 equals 0. So you're going to have y is equal to 3 quarters and y is equal to negative 3. Now whenever you have an equation, um, a log equation, you always must check to see do these values cause this to be undefined. Now the logarithm of a, uh, of a, a negative number, if this is negative in here, is going to be undefined. So any value of y that causes these to become a negative okay is going to be undefined so let's see what happens if i put minus three into this i'll have minus six plus one which is minus five so minus three cannot be a solution okay minus three is fine here that's going to be in log to the base five five but here if i put minus three in here i'll have two two times minus three which is minus 6 plus 1, which is minus 5, that will be undefined. 3 quarters put into here is no problem. That's going to be, you know, 2 times 3 quarters plus 1, that's going to be positive. 3 quarters put into here is no problem. 2 minus 3 quarters is above 0. So this is the only solution. So you can say that, it says, explaining clearly why there's one solution, you can say, I'm going to just use this space down here, although really I should go to the other page. You can say that um, y equals three quarters is the only solution the only solution let's write it full why because y equals negative three causes the log Um, 2y plus 1 log of 2y plus 1 to become log of minus 5 and this is undefined the log of a negative number has to be always undefined it's undefined therefore undefined so this is the only solution okay so a little explanation why is good